<clears throat> what is this? How can one man have such powers? Think about all the good this can contribute to our cause. That movement, over there. You see the three fingers? Okay. And why he's been looking at a screen? Okay, I'm gonna attempt this. Number one attempt. Ah! Hey guys, so Epic Cuber Andrew over here, and I finally figured out how to use lights. You see, this is way better and way more awesome than this. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to the whole point of this video. Okay, so... Okay, so I got this big package over here. So this is... Yeah, it should be the Canon SL2 or D200. And I just got this bad boy over here. It cost me like $530. Canadian dollars, not US. Uh, pretty big investment. I got like 60 frames per second, which is really awesome. And I'm also looking forward for the bigger like sensor on here that gives me like better like ISO and you can see currently I'm using the Sony A5000 so it only goes like 29.97 frames so that's like 30 frames per second over here you guys can see and the Canon SL2 will give me like a lot of flexibility throughout this whole like YouTube content creation thing. And yeah, I probably should like find some Christmas stuff to put it behind me since it's, it's kind of like Christmas season right now. So let me try to get some Christmas stuff back over there. Hey, what's up, Magic? You saw that? So let's get back to unboxing the SL2 right now. Okay, so it's actually like open box. You can see over there, it says, come on. Well, look at that amazing focus over there. Let's get this whole package with one hand. It's pretty heavy. So I'm gonna open this over here. Okay. Ooh, look at that. that experience. To get an SL2. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the side. All these like cards. Okay. Mm. It's paperwork. Lens. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here on the side. Also got like this charger over here. Got a spare battery and also a and also finally the camera. Canon SL2 is an awesome camera and you can see that it goes in like 60 frames per second and I can like have a lot of flexibility and pulse so you can see over here I can slow down the footage and speed it back up and another thing I love about this is that I get like a bunch of buttons on the camera like for example the ISO, shutter speed and, and aperture and my Sony like A5000 you need to press like two or three buttons compared to like on the Canon, like SL2, I can like pretty much just do it instantaneously. And another good thing about it is it has like a 
really awesome like touch screen. Another really awesome thing is like the focus, the dual points focus on the camera. Upgrading from a Sony camera to the Canon SL2 was definitely a great move. However, there's like a few cons that come with the Canon SL2. So first of all, you might have seen the camera and it's kind of massive when you compare it to my old mirrorless camera. And you can see that the size is really big and my table isn't really particularly large and that becomes a problem when I'm trying to like do example solves and anything along that and I probably cannot use the Canon SL2 on my table and I probably still will use my old mirrorless camera and another thing is that it's kind of heavy it's actually like four times heavy so it's like 800 grams and my tripod I'm using right now isn't supporting it and if I kind of shake it like this so if I shake it a little bit you can see that it just drops down like a rock it's to use this camera on my future videos and definitely improve my video quality and also my cinematography plus some slow-mo like half time slow -mo, that would be awesome uh, so comment below if you felt that this camera was worth it or not. I'm definitely going to do like a unboxing of like all the accessories when they arrive, including like probably one uh, about my birthday. So don't forget to, you know, like and subscribe. And bye Epicubers!